Hello everybody. Our next camera is the Vivitar A35 Splash Proof. Uh, this one was next because my partner's five-year-old niece is on a bumblebee kick. So I asked her what camera I should use. She picked the yellow and black one. It's a little hard to find info on this camera. One thing for sure, it's made in China. Camera Wiki dates it to about 1999, uh, based on the first date it was available on Amazon. I was poking around all over the web trying to find any info on it, and I found an eBay ad that showed um, the back of the manual for this thing, and it had a copyright date of 1996. Sorry for the interruption there I'm trying to use the iPad for notes for this video it was available as part of an all-season sports kit um, from Vivitar it came with the camera some I think 8 by 21 binoculars a roll of Kodak 400 film and a couple of AA batteries I also found another ad on eBay that showed this camera and a box that was just for the camera so I think it was also available by itself. A 35 millimeter, both the film and the focal length. It's fixed focus. Close focus is about five feet. You can see here, I biffed the close focus a couple of times. Uh, a lot of ads call this thing autofocus, but it's not. There's no motor here. The ad that seems to make the most sense was on QVC. It's not a current item, but the ad is still up. It says F5.6. I can't really measure it without disassembling this. So I'm going to go with F5.6. That same ad actually shows a shutter speed of 1 140th of a second. The, the shutter does not seem to vary with the light level. The power switch here, down is off and then auto is automatic flash. And it does have a little sensor above that red LED that shows you that the flash is charged up and ready. The upper setting, just with the flash lightning bolt rather than the word auto, it's fill flash. When it's set to that, the flash fires every time. I have no idea of the guide number on this thing. The descriptions I found and the description right on the top of the camera says red eye reduction, but I've watched this thing fairly carefully. I cannot detect a pre-flash. It has motorized uh, film advance and rewind. Seems to work pretty well. It's been nice and smooth. I didn't have any film jams or anything. There's a little tiny button here if for some reason you wanted to do a mid-roll rewind. There's no tripod socket on the thing. The splash proof in the description, both on the battery compartment around this door, and it takes two double A's by the way, that's always nice, nice common batteries, and around uh, the film compartment has this rubberized O-ring. So it really is kind of splash proof. You don't want to submerge it. It's DX encoded, sort of. They say DX on it, but inside, hopefully you can see this, the light's in there enough. There are only two DX contacts in here. And another ad where I could see part of the manual says ISO 100 or 400. And if it's 200, it sets it to 100. If there's no DX encoding, it's 100, but if it detects 400, it's 400. So apparently those two contacts, and I haven't, you know, compared it to the film canister, but apparently they detect 400 and anything else, um, 200, 100, or no DX encoded canister, it sets it to 100. So it's DX encoding-ish. Um, it is a nice big viewfinder. Uh, there's not too much information in it. It shows your frame lines. You can't get that close, about five feet. So there's no uh, 
you know, little marks for parallax correction or anything like that. And it also has this green LED on the back so that in addition to the people you're pointed at, the photographer can actually tell that the flash is charged. Film counter on the top and that rounds it out. It's got a rubberized shutter button. That's it. Um, it was meant, meant to be a simple point and shoot, you know, that you could maybe use in the rain, drop it, hopefully not in a puddle. Um, it does take fairly good pictures. It's not a piece of junk. I did use some really crummy film. I'm finally almost done with this PhotoWorks film. This was the company that was the successor to Seattle Filmworks that used tail ends from movie film. This is at least C41. I was able to process it myself, not too bad. Lost a bit of speed and it's grainy as heck, but I'm finally almost done with the stash a friend had given me of this stuff. So I probably won't shoot with this guy again right away. Um, I had a lot of fun though. I got a few good snaps. Um, my girlfriend's niece loved playing with it, especially because it looks like a bumblebee. So I'll show you the next camera with the tail end of the PhotoWorks film and I'll see you then.